Alright, well, I think we may as well just go in. Rather than doing a lot of exploration. Because that might get... People might be a bit suspicious. I'm sure there's going to be a few lockpick mini-games going on then. So, everything is here, just as you asked. And what about the money? Some of the barrels are wet. Transportation issues, it couldn't be helped. Whatever. We'll be here after midnight to pick up the supplies. I want to be paid first. No. You'll be paid after we make the transfer, as I said. Right? I hope that no one saw you. The police are on the lookout. Of course not. I'm a professional. Glad to hear it. Be ready for tonight, then. Interesting. Right, so... Can I look at the barrels? This wooden barrel is damaged. It is difficult to say what is inside. Hmm. This wooden barrel. Right. There is a spot on this barrel that was intentionally painted out. Interesting. Why? Ooh. The crest of the Honorable Artillery Company. Could it be gunpowder? I need to be sure. Judging by the fractions and the scent, I can confirm that it is, in fact, gunpowder. Right. And lots of it. The barrels are roughly clustered. It seems as though they were brought here in a hurry. It seems like this doesn't actually have any connection to the uh, actual case we're looking at, does it? There are enough posters to paste across half of London's walls. Rise up, keep rising from lambs to li into lions. From lambs into lions. Those are words of encouragement and defiance. Indeed. That's a picture of a contemporary gentleman wearing a Robin Hood hat. Interesting. This poster was clearly made to fire up rebellion amongst the people. To go with the gunpowder. This printing press is old, but still quite capable of printing hundreds of pages per day. You wonder what kind of locks we'll be picking, eh? Powder kegs, a printing press, and a great many blank papers. All of this was stolen by the Merry Men quite recently. And these poster samples. I am quite sure it is not. A coincidence. Indeed. The merry men are planning some sort of sabotage. Stop right here. Who are you? Are you Charles Foley? Maybe. They say that I can open any door. Do they now? We'll see that lock near the chains on the table over there. Open that. Do I have a time limit? Well, let's observe him. There's a key on this. Is Anything in the face? No. Stained scarfy thing. Key. He's got a protected safe. Injured. Recent trauma. Is that something on the no. A revolver. Cutthroat, whatever that means. A ring with a ram's head. Yes. Well, I think it was uh, Vincent Foley that was in, that was taken, wasn't it? I think it's agility practice, acrobat. Oh, it was a Vincent Foley who stole them, of course. A methodical man, achievement unlocked. Uh, long lost art. They, no. Uh, Charles Foley wears an antique ring, the last missing piece of the five rams of Maitalini. I will pronounce the E, by the way. I don't know. I think that's the more correct? I don't know. Dual set and also a revolver retained under his belt. It proves that Charles Foley is our mysterious ejected man who nimbly escaped the crime scene at Half Moon Street. That's potentially not true, but uh, you never know. Didn't mean to do that. What What do we need to do? Open the lock. Explore the archive. Become acquainted. That is a poster. What did I find that I was looking at? Yeah. Vincent Foley committed 
the infamous robbery of the Hellenistic treasures was imprisoned ten years ago. The treasures have remained undiscovered up to this day, apart from the fact that I found two of them. Ah, this is what I was doing. This, oh, Charles Foley is a member and the leader of the Duval Brothers Circus. He's a skillful acrobat who actively practices his craft. Foley is a superstitious man. He's armed and dangerous. He has a penchant for wearing jewellery. Well, let's have a go at this lock, shall we? We got the standardy, standard, standard, standard. Well, this can move. Which I'm guessing is going to be it clicks in with something. Ah, da, 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 da. So we do that. Actually, I want to rotate everything. There we go. Done. Anything else to do? Is it just yeah, just talk to him now. There we go. Done. Got a challenge. Oh. Well, hey, right. What's your name? Nigel Shirley from York. Ah, Nigel from York. Never heard anything about you. How'd you hear about me? Um. Ah, jail thief. It's a long story. I met your brother, Vincent the Butcher Foley, in prison. He told me all about his betrayal and all about you. Before I was released, he told me that you might find a job for me one day and pay me some money for my craft. Well, he died. Seven days ago, in prison. Hmm. I'm sorry to hear that. That's all right. The traitor has paid the blood price for it. Which would be Butler. And you'll do the job anyway, because I need a talented lock picker. I know just where to search for his legacy. It's all about the Hellenistic treasures, isn't it? Gosh, you fool. Now, listen up. You'll come with us tonight, and you better mind yourself. Us? Wait, who's coming then? Billy, Jack and me. And what will I get for that? We'll share the loot. The one you seem to know about. Right. Wait for us at the abandoned manor house on the corner of Ledbrook Grove and Kensington Park Road at midnight. Deal. But don't we have them? We have, we have the bracelet and the necklace, surely. Find and examine the secret lock at Notting Hill Manor. Hmm. I don't have anything else to do ever. But I'm fairly sure that's him. Because by the sound of it, it is. He did it. The the traitor has played the uh, paid the blood price. Can't trust these people from Yorkshire. <laughs> right. To Notting Hill Manor. And we can do out. I'm surprised we can't contact Mycroft. Here I am at the manor. Somewhere inside it are the Hellenistic treasures. What do you mean? Like the Hellenistic treasures, that's these, isn't it? Alright, yeah, find find the thing. Yeah. Stone yesterday. Da da da. Piece of sin he was wrecking the trouble of the collection. Yeah. Jules represent oh apart. So there's a few more bits and pieces. Right, okay. I was wrong. This lock is quite old. It shouldn't be much of a challenge. It's just, just a load of lock picking challenges. Fun! Fun fun fun. Oh my goodness, that does look fairly complex. That's oh oh no, there's multiple ones there. So it's gonna be a matter of fiddling with it and seeing what happens. Right, so that means we have to line that up like that, which then means that does silly things. Right, so we'll pull that out. There we go. There we go. 
I need to find where the safe is hidden and lock pick it. Creepy door. I'm assuming that they've cased the joint and they know that no one's here. Bookcase, examine the bookcase. This cupboard is an absolute mess. Yes. So nothing actually here. Just here is a cupboard. A bookcase. Uh, it's all creaky and creepy, isn't it? I want to have like a stealth moment. Stealth button I can go into sneaking. This is a rubbish upstairs. Ah, it's all barricaded off. It doesn't look like it's up here then. This is another way of coming in. Through the side. A stick. No. Right, so. Is it something like you pull the right one and it does some books? Several books have fallen from the shelves. Hmm. It seems as though this cupboard can be moved. Right. I'll give it a try. Wonderful. Here we are. So, that's the lock I must open tonight. Let me see. Let's look a fair bit complex, doesn't it? Green. Be systematic about these things, we'll be alright. Okay, we need to. Okay, just check that this line's up. And it down. Okay. There we go. Hmm. I recall that precious key around Foley's neck. It might prove a decent fit. I suppose they hired me to only open the first lock. Right. Let us wait for the thieves, trap them, and find out. So have they sent me on ahead then? Let's check the thieves' possible escape routes in the event that they are caught off guard by the police from the front door. So, okay. Well, there's a back door just here. This door is a perfect means of escape in an emergency. Right, so. Oh, I see. So, or do I have to do something with it? This door is a perfect means of escape in an emergency. This door leads to a kitchen, which holds the shortest route to the back door. Right. Item required. This door leads okay, right, so I need some kind of item. And I do notice my accent's gone a bit northern, having picked on southern, picked on people from Yorkshire. I know that. It does it. It, solid it does random things at times. <laughs> right. <clears throat> Can I use the rope? No, I can't. Ah. <sighs> Anything else? Ooh, corner. That was a chair. Right, take the chair. Should be useful. Uh, okay, so we put that in front of the door and we stop you from turning the handle. The door is now blocked. Mm -hmm. So then... So he runs in, can't get through it. Goes and picks up that mallet over there. Right. Now I wanted to look at the the big hammer. I suppose that the thieves already tried to open the lock with this formidable hammer, but they were unsuccessful. 
I wonder what this old chandelier is doing on the floor. It looks as though it was poorly attached. Yes, we gotta find something to interrupt with. The hammer. Right, so let's have a have a nosy upstairs, shall we? There might be some interesting items up here. Well, the, the necklace has got to be something we interact with at some juncture. Doesn't look like there's anything up here. Hmm. Right, so we want to. So, is there anything else through here we interact with? This should be useful. I thought I'd already taken the rope. I thought I'd already taken the rope. Alright. There's a trap door down there. I'm guessing we're just dealing with the one escape route at a time. Maybe. I don't know. Attach rope to the chandelier then. Pass rope. Hang it. Ah, okay, so... Th Which means it then falls on him. Ah, okay, so that exclamation mark means that something's changed in the imagination. If he runs through the dining room and takes a sledgehammer to force open the door, the chandelier will knock him down. Right. But. There's a possibility there might be another escape route, is the thing. The windows? No, they won't be. They won't, okay, so oh, they're boarded up. Right, okay. There is. There was a trap door here, wasn't there? Apparently not. Yeah, so we got the item. Check the possible routes. Prepare the traps for them. So. Yeah. Right. Okay. So. What about up here? What about this window then? Although this window is high above the ground, it would be possible for one of the thieves to attempt to use it Whee! to escape. Okay, what items have we got that we can Ugh. Turn that Ah, the table. This should be useful. <laughs> ah, okay, so we put beads on the floor somewhere. Stairs. That way. Step on these beads, and our thief will go flying. There we go. I should walk carefully here, else my plan will be ruined. So he comes up now, and we. Any thief who finds his way upstairs will roll down very quickly. Okay, so. Still traps. So, still areas. What about this window? The ground floor window is a perfect way to escape the police. Right, so we need to find a way of dealing with that then. Cupboard. Ah, so we're moving, just moving this across. Very well. No one will escape through this window now. Oh, there's a cupboard. Ah. ah. But now, they can escape through there. It's a problem. Right. Hatch. There is no ladder. If anyone falls here, right. he will need assistance to get out. Okay. So then. Ah, but he can jump across. Item required, item required. Oh. So we need a way so that they can't dodge around it, is the thing. We have to go back upstairs. We'll have a look down here, make sure there's nothing. Ooh, carpet. Ah, I see. I see your ploy. 
This should be useful. So we'll put that over the hatch, and it's a classic pitfall trap. You run across because you think it's safe, and then whee! Thud. And then the next guy after you. But it depends how many thieves there are. Now, it's not an open hatch. Just a nice carpet on the floor. I should walk carefully here, else my plan will be ruined. Right. So it goes. Now, if a thief runs through the kitchen, he'll pay a surprise visit to the cellar. Yes. The traps for my circus companions are all prepared. I can leave now, but I'll return later with Charles Foley and his companion. Haunted House Achievement. Alright, 